Now in today we are continuing with our radiopathological series. This is our attempt at DAMS to create correlative integrated medicine videos where we will looking at, uh, today we have chosen a bony pathology uh, chondroblastoma and we will looking at, we will be looking at all aspects of this tumor from the radiological aspect as well as the pathological aspect. This is a 12 year old boy and we were presented with the knee x-ray of this boy. So I want everybody to look at the image and try to make a diagnosis in your mind. You can see this is the knee joint, you can see the tibia, this is the metaphysis, you can see the growth plate, epiphysis, epiphysis and you can see a well defined lesion, primarily lytic with a sclerotic margin mainly located inside the epiphysis. As far as the x-ray goes, I can suspect maybe there are some small tiny areas of flocculent calcification inside but I am not very sure looking at the x-ray and the growth plate looks okay. The lesion does not seem to invade the growth plate. I don't think there is any metaphysical extension and the cortex, the articular margin also looks intact. Now if I now look at the MRI of the same patient, this is the T1 weighted MRI of the same patient. Now what is the finding? This MRI image confirms the epiphyseal location of the lesion and you can see the bony cortex is intact just in similar manner what we suspected on the x-ray and we can also see that the growth plate is not invaded. It is primarily epiphyseal lesion in a pediatric age group patient. You can see there is surrounding dark area which could be because of surrounding edema. To confirm the edema we look at the T2 weighted image and when we see, see the T2 weighted image, this is a, uh, a stir image where you can see the edema is better appreciated and you can again confirm that this lesion is primarily epiphyseal with no extension into the metaphysis, no extension into the joint. So on the basis of the radiological findings, we feel that it is a pediatric patient. You can see that the uh, growth plates have not fused and I mentioned in the beginning that this was a 12 year old boy with a lesion, well defined lytic lesion with sclerotic margins with some evidence of calcification on x-ray which could mean, uh, which could imply a chondroid matrix. So chondroid matrix on x-ray would show stippled or flocculent calcification. So uh, we feel that this could be chondroblastoma and which is also called as Codman's tumor. So I will now invite Diksha to talk about the pathological features of this tumor and how to look at it as a pathologist. So on pathology, what we'll see are sheets of cells which are chondroblasts with abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm, multilobated nuclei, and very clearly groups. Now these chondroblasts, they secrete a mineralized matrix which is deposited in a chicken wire fashion. Why is it called chicken wire? Because of the chicken mesh that is used in poultry farms to keep the poultry inside. Now this chicken wire calcification can be highlighted on special stains like using calcium, reticulin, S100. And some of these lesions can also show, show osteoclast-like giant cells. So in our differentials, we can include giant cell rich lesions as well. To summarize what we've seen and I feel that uh, because you see that chicken wire like calcification on the slide, so that is probably the reason of us seeing the stippled appearance on the x-ray. So that is how the radiology and pathology correlate. So the take home message from this lesion that we've learned is in a pediatric age group patient, if you see epiphyseal lesion, which is well defined, may or may not have a sclerotic margin, Think of chondroblastoma. This chondroblastoma on pathology would have chicken wire like calcification which can be seen on routine and special stains if I understand correctly and you may have a giant cells. This is one of uh, differentials of a giant cell containing lesion and it is also called as the Codman's tumor. Thank you very much. I would invite you to follow us on Dam's Daily channel on YouTube for more such integrated videos on and it is our attempt to integrate medicine. Thank you.